Hey everybody, clearing. Okay, so let's dive into a divine feminine check-in, but it's going to be, what do the divine feminines think they know about you, divine masculines, about anything, your character? I'm going to use this with hmm, the chakra levels, and we're just going to look at all of those kinds of things. We're gonna look at what they think they know, what they have seen demonstrated directly from you in this connection, um, first person, what they have picked up on that you've directly shown them, things that you would be able to concur or validate here. And then we're gonna look, so the first one could be assumptions, but I think it's more like intuition. And then the next one is direct experience, what they've picked up on from your direct experience or shared experiences. And then we're gonna look at what the feminines have been told straight from source, divine about you. And then the last deck here is going to be what you can know about these things, masculine. So thank you, Divine Creator, for using me as a channel of only the highest, most beneficial information coming through. What can we see for the Divine Feminines and Masculines here? How do the Feminines view the Masculines? What do the Feminines think they know? And, you know, that can maybe be right or wrong, and you'd have to comment, Masculines, which way that is. Um, what have the Feminines picked up from the Masculines directly? What has the divine shown the feminines about the masculines and what do the masculines need to know? Okay, what do the feminines think they know about the masculine's connection to source energy? Huh, that they are connected. Look at this king of swords with the sword going out of the page. So your feminine believes that whether you have recognized it in yourself or not, that your thoughts are connected to a higher truth, that you have a way about you masculines that is in alignment with what you think of as a higher knowing. And so they do see you with this falcon here, that you are capable of seeing a big picture. You are capable of strategy, of sending out intention and then receiving an answer, that you call the shots, that you are self directed that you are self-contained that you make your decisions based on i heard you walk to the beat of your own drum so that you do have the potential to be navigating with a an agreement between you and your higher power this is what they think they know about you what have the feminine seen about your connection to source your crown chakra your spirituality demonstrated with you <laughs> that you really see them, that you really listen to them, and that you confirm everything, that you are not quick to close a door, close a chapter, um, assume that you do give second chances. You wait for something to be confirmed before you make an assumption. They see you changing your mind and your story, your tune, if something that you have thought to begin with is given new information, they see you being limber of mind, fluid, in being able to say, oh, in that case, now, I believe this to be true. So they have seen you fair. They have seen you able to change your mind, able to consider multiple factors in making decisions and to contrast the things that you're being given by a baseline that is connected to a higher knowing. This is an infinity symbol. So this sword of truth is the same sword of truth. The thoughts are the swords. And so they see you considering information coming in from different directions and measuring it against this higher knowing. So yeah, what has the divine illuminated to your counterpart? Huh. Prism of existence, separation, extension, independence, and identity. So your feminine 
sees you. This is one of my twin flamey kind of divine aligned cards, the sovereignty of each and the shared space. So your feminine sees that they do this same kind of open-minded processing. They see you as similar to them in your ability to desire the truth above all else, to not be an ego, to not assume, to sort of be more cautious to formulate gospel or to be attached to a specific definition. And that doesn't mean fickle. It does mean that you think for yourself and that you have your own set of criteria, that your feminine values, you are an independent thinker that seems to be connected to a energetically righteous uh, code of conduct or perception. What do you need to know about this masculines? Yeah, that you've got a friend in your feminine, that your feminine does see you as somebody who they could get along with, that they could be on the same page with, that could be amicable because they trust you, because they trust the way that you perceive and consider things. They feel safe and they feel like they can express their emotions around you. They feel like they are able to be authentic. They feel like there's a flow of energy where they don't have to be guarded because they do feel you are open to what is true and right and not so stubborn that you can't make room for pro uh, evolution, growth. So they, they feel happy about how you navigate What do the feminines see in or think they know about your intuitive abilities? Ooh, the moon. So for a masculine, I mean, it's kind of a mystery. In one sense, we could look at this moon as the card of mystique and mystery. Um, somewhere in there, you've got this very impeccable intuition. You, you know, you seem to be connected to source. However, they also could interpret this as though you are a masculine sun energy and it polarizes them into this moon divine feminine energy regarding it. Like you, you bring out and evolve their psychic gifts, their intuition because of the way you polarize. So your feminine thinks that you are their perfect complement because you up-level their spiritual giftings, their, their innate feminine intuition. You bring a certain kind of validation to their most essential experience of their intuition. They can read you like a book in ways that beget compassion and um, unconditional love and respect and honor. You bring out things, resources within them that they didn't know that they had. You cause them to grow. You cause them to expand. You teach them through your action, your nearing and your distancing motions. When you do this, your feminine, um, you know, this feminine looks like She's tracking through the night with a torch and following a path that she has not become familiar with. There is a, a, a cloaking and a night-like uh, uh, nocturnal energy here that it's in the shadows. It's like they are following you and trusting your lead with the energetic lessons they're learning because they trust you. So they're in uncharted territory with their own ability to read energy and to interpret how you move through unconditional love. So that means your feminine doesn't take it personally. They follow your guiding 
example in, in uncharted territory. So what they think they know is that you are a teacher to them, that you are guided by a mysterious knowing that appeals to them because it's a masculine energy and it brings out their most feminine complementary energy. So that one is not so much what they think they know about you, but more the result of knowing you and how it affects them and their intuition. What is it that the feminines have seen directly or understood directly from you about your intuition? They see you in a phase right now, masculines, where you are doing a life review and letting go of a lot of things that might be considered by 3D perspectives as failures or loss of opportunities or regrets. Um, this is the kind of life review that causes people to mature. So they could be seeing you looking through your, <laughs> the memory banks, the annals of history that has been your life. Um, and they see you kind of in this introspection about the past, using your intuition to pull wisdom out of it. They feel like you at this time need some alone time to process the things that you need to let go of, that you are no longer focusing on bringing success to. There's an actual grieving, mourning energy here, a letting go. They feel like this is fresh for you and that you're going to have to go it alone. And so some of this mystery that they feel um, like they're picking up on, um, in some way you may have tried to ask for space but have been sort of preoccupied and not clearly asked for it. So your feminine is feeling that you're mysterious, feeling that there's some shrouding in your energy and they're having to infer that this is a period of no no go zone like you're you're really not able to ask for space but your feminine is intuitively feeling like that's what you need right now to find it within yourself what can we see for what the divine has told your feminine wow the other twin flame card temple of centering solitude seclusion grounding and belonging so the divine has said that your to your feminine that you need to come into your own sense of belonging and worth right now and that you've got to ground your own self-concept that it's not something that your feminine can tell you your feminine would like to tell you how they view you how they see you but really it's for you to find and discover on your own based on who you have been and who you are becoming and you are the author of your own journey right now and so the divine has told your feminine that you have to do this and they can't come in and mom you and make that feel better and there's something about your energy that has given them the impression that they have to that your feminine needs to focus on them right now what do you need to know masculines yeah you have to fill up your own cup of love before you have it to give and so if you're looking to be told who you are and how you are perceived, it, you, that's going to be hollow. You have to know your worth. You have to know who you are. So some soul searching here. Who do you want to be? Um, what can you let go of that's too painful to try and manufacture? Can you come into ease? Can you come into flow? Can you ask the divine to show you what is for you and let go of everything that is not? So yeah, it is about coming forward into your best, highest timeline with a rejuvenated cup of confidence and love and safety. So yeah, it's time to regroup masculines right now. There's something about those patterns that are breaking and falling, something about the way you've always done things. You're cracking the code right now, masculines, is what I see. And your feminine realizes that only you can do that for yourself so that you can actually be free and clear to pursue and to offer love. But right now, something has to be released, some way of thinking, some code of conduct, some priority system needs to be rethought. 
What can we see for the throat chakra? What does your feminine feel like they have intuitively guessed? That when you go away, you're really stargazing, you're really soul searching, that it's not a rejection of them, that it's more that you need that solitude in order to reconnect with your inner little. <laughs> what can we see for what your feminine has gotten straight from you about communication? Daughter of Wands, this is the spiritual seeker. So your feminine has gotten bits and pieces from you that there is some kind of seeking sacred knowledge, that you are somebody that desires a, a reverence, a revelation of truth, that you want to discover the meaning in life. And so they have inferred that when you take space that you are looking for that meaning. What is the message the divine has told your feminine about communication at this time between the two of you? Auric cleansing, replenishment, renewal, restoration. In this card to me, these look like the energy ports in our auras. And this one in particular, I feel coincides with the left side body, right by our heart chakra, where we attach to others. And so, to me, this looks like a freshly disconnected karmic cord that is in the process of being filled up with divine light and sealed. So your feminine feels like right now you are truly detaching from some kind of a karmic pattern, belief system. A person may have represented this to you, but there is a cord that has been cut and has been healed and that this is a time for replenishment, renewal, and restoration that is purely yours. And this, your feminine has been told by the divine, will reboot your throat chakra, your communication, the way you show up, how emotionally available you can be in this connection. So up until now, your feminine has seen you take space with emotional processing. These are the cups which represent emotions and there is a little child here looking at the stars. So they see you retracting your energy when things feel too big, when things feel too overwhelming. They see you going into this isolating motion, seeking higher wisdom. But this particular cycle, they see you disconnecting so that you can heal once and for all. We have the infinity loop here um, in this card. This replenishment card is also an eight card and the eight of cups. So we already saw that infinite love motif in the first messages and now we have eight, eight, eight across this page. So you are really aligning with eternal love here and unhooking from the lower dimensional assessments. What is the advice for masculines? Emperor, this is you coming into your maturity. This is you leveling up. This is you growing spiritually. This is you matching a divine counterpart and revamping the way you view yourself your connections, your lessons, and therefore the wisdom that you can actually communicate on a mature level. What can we see for the heart chakra? What do the feminines believe that they know about you on the heart chakra? That you've been burdened. You've been a people pleaser. You've carried the weight of the ages, the world, um, all of those dear people around you, you're very empathic. They feel like you've taken on more than your share in many, 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 many different relationships and that you have become very fit. You have become very capable of carrying all of that. But they also feel like it's only a matter of time until you understand what you've done there that this is codependent, that if people can't carry their own burdens, it's not actually ours, it's theirs. And if we try to carry those things, it's abstract to us. It doesn't support us, it doesn't support them. It burdens us and eventually we have to put those things down and really take the wisdom and therefore the Ace of Wands the, that 
comes after the Ten of Wands, it reduces to the Ace, which is life purpose and inspiration. We learn a lot by carrying other people's karma. By taking on too much, we expand our capacity, but it's not a long-term viable solution. It's actually taught teaching us something. And so the feminines believe that you've been in this rite of passage where you've learned what not to carry for others. You've learned you can, but you've also learned and you're about to learn that it's not actually loving to do it for someone that way. That it by lightening their load, it undermines. It doesn't do anyone any favors. If you protect people from their own stuff, they don't grow. And so your feminine has imagined that you're about to learn this lesson that you can't be God's gift to everyone by saving them from themselves. You have to allow people to go through their own trials and tribulations, their own growth process. And your feminine is the one person that you don't go in and coddle when they need you. So, you know, your feminine has been teaching you that directly, but they also realize that you have been carrying everyone else's burden except theirs. And so they do, they do kind of see that that is an imbalance in you and that eventually you're going to make sense of it and see that big picture. What have they picked up on regarding heart chakra here directly from you? Huh. That you're very much like them, that you both that you both continually step out of your comfort zone and expand your heart. You both have the biggest hearts your feminine has ever met and that there must be a reason for that. They feel like they have seen directly that you are like them, directly that you care as much as they do. Oh, I just heard. So if you think that you've pulled the wool over your feminine's eyes about how emotionally uh, savvy you are, aware, sensitive, you have not masculines because on the heart space here, they see that you are a good one. You are one of the most, uh, the strongest, most compassionate people they've met. Even if you think you've hidden that from them, there is this resounding awareness on the heart space that you would go the extra mile if you felt you, it was warranted. What is it that the divine has shown your feminine on the heart space? Spiritual strength, virtue, and valor. This is that victory, virtue, and valor as well. This is all wands on the heart space. They see your soul. You wear your soul and your heart on your sleeve. Your feminine can tune into that energy. And they see you as incredibly spiritually strong. What is the advice for the masculines here? Keep investing in this foundation this self-concept, seeing yourself not as weak just because you haven't felt guided to be more intimately connected, that is a form of strength. If you were to enmesh prematurely in a relationship, you would lose yourself. And so you have very much been investing in self and that is the strongest foundation to thine own self be true and know thyself. So you are doing this and your feminine knows that on the heart space you are prioritizing your deepest knowing and this is great nobility spiritual nobility and strength it takes an incredible amount of wisdom to do this and you've been in training for it all of your life your feminine knows that while you've been you know, if you want to master teach. So you have been teaching others while carrying their burden and showing them how to do it when they were too weak to carry it on their own. You were born in doing this for your own darn parents, masculines, and so on and so on. But your feminine has seen this in you. Even if the pain and the burden of it has felt too strong for you, you can still continue to see that it's all served a purpose and it's part of a resilient pathway. What can we see for the solar plexus chakra? What do your feminines know or think they know about your empowerment? that you're just coming into some of these aha moments that really do set you apart from the crowd. They see you as somebody who can flip a, an awareness on its head and see the angle seldom seen. 
that you are somebody like them that has an ability to look at unusual interpretations of things. This is creative genius. This is walking to the beat of your own drum. This is innovation. This is true problem solving. So your feminine guess is that you have this ability to um, approach life and everything from almost a counterintuitive or inverted perspective compared to 99% of the people out there. Um, your feminine sees that or guesses this about you. What do they feel? What does your feminine feel they have gotten directly from you? They've definitely felt like with your own empowerment that you have two things. This is a karmic feminine energy. So they feel like you've subjected yourself to a crash course in the wrong feminine energies. They feel like you have thrown yourself into scenarios that are not actually long-term benefit for you, that you have been a victim of ego, of cliche, of stereotypes, of emasculated energy of um, macho energy, you name it, any imbalance with feminine energy, they feel like you have directly engaged in disempowering interactions for yourself or feminine energies that are imbalanced. Now, this is aside from the feminine in this particular message, they see you connected with other feminine energies, whether that's your own mother or um, feminines who are unhealed or feminines who are manipulative or feminines who are naive. They have seen you connected with misguided interactions or assessments of what feminine energy even is. So they see you having thrown yourself into almost opposite stay kind of interactions so that you can hone what is what. Now, they also feel like in the process of you aligning with things that you're not aligned with or attempting to connect with things that are not actually aligned with righteousness or truth, that in that process, you have rejected the feminine, that you have told, silenced the feminine, that you have pushed your divine feminine away, that you have hedged your feminine out in lieu of the um, pull to these other lower vibrational energies. So they feel like you have almost done a rebellion especially since having met your feminine and being offered a truly divine connection, they feel like you have doubled down on diving into exploring things that are not necessarily divine or contrasting to your divine connection. What do they feel that the divine has told them? Um, your divine feminine has, feels like they're getting higher guidance that this is your way of balancing your emotions and coming into non-attachment. So your feminine feels like you've gone into the far reaches of the universe, into unsavory, unhealthy feminine connection so that you can find some kind of redemption in it, so that you can bring light into the darkness, whether that's within you or within connections, possibly so that you can bless these karmic feminine energies and show them a better way, partially so that you can have a contrast of what peace and, and actual connection is compared to the unhealed things that you've been going into with other feminine energy but they, they feel like it's all going to click for you and one day you're going to see the light across the board with all of it and the, where you fit in, how you have been imprinted and influenced and how you therefore can be the change you wish to see in the world. You know, you're not God's gift to everyone, but by learning a vast array of experiences you can be current and relevant and um, a light for people who you don't have any business being intimately connected with. You can be a teacher, you can be an example, but you don't have to be up close and personal in a way that you are lowering your energy or selling yourself short masculines. And so your feminine feels like you're going to see the light or are in the process of balancing that out right now. What is the advice for you? 
star path of destiny. This has been unapologetically something as a divine masculine in these kinds of love echelons. You are being guided by your North Star, your higher knowing along this path of discovery as a trailblazer so you can help others see the light, see things correctly, understand energy, understand counterfeit with authentic. And this is on the, the solar plexus chakra. So this is empowerment, which begets empowering energy for others. You're trailblazing. You are learning how to navigate this sacred pathway so others can follow and emulate you. Whether that's just going to be children in your generational tree or your family tree, or if this is going to be you teaching the masses, it will differ for every single masculine, but there is a legacy energy here where this kind of imbalanced connection with feminine energy, you're not voting for it anymore after this because it's not truly empowering for you or others any others to engage in things that are not equally balanced, that are not healed and whole. What can we see for what the feminines believe about your sacral chakra? They believe that you haven't finished your sexual healing, your balancing there. This is what they believe. What, what do they feel like they've gotten directly from you? That you are healing your inner child, that you are healing your history that you are you have a colorful sacral history where you've been a pleasure seeker where you've been unbridled where you have explored um various options they feel like you have a colorful history that you are unassuming on the surface but that they know a different side of you than you present to the world best kept secret I just heard, but there is something a little bit underground, um, a little bit frivolous, a little bit um, secret, hidden, out of sight. They feel like you have done a lot more than you let on to them or to your family or to a lot of the people that know of your existence and they feel like you're not quite done with that because you are not waving your freak flag and owning who you are this way. There's still a double standard. There's still a protection of your past here. And so your feminines feel like you haven't fully completed the healing, that you're still putting down roots into this experience your freedom, your I do it my way, like your rebellion, they feel there's a bit of a rebellion still going on in you where you haven't fully accepted your past yet. What can we see for what the divine has told them? Temple of Perfected Essence, Divinity, Honor, Responsibility, and Humility. So they do feel like it's a divine process, that you are a rare one, a cosmonaut, somebody who has pushed the envelope, somebody who is braver and has had very questionable experiences, but it has been with a divinely guided mandate um, mission. They feel literally like someone's got to do it and that you are the masculine for the job. It's like whatever you were karmically imprinted by or led into or have experienced, your feminine really truly with humility believes that you were meant to live the life that you've had. So, you know, in my private sessions, oftentimes there are things that are, you know, since we're talking about the sexual chakra and the, the sacral and pleasure and all of that, there are abuses and traumas and dysfunctions and really um, difficult things that come up that, that cause um, uh, a lack of safety in intimacy, um, prevent connection through um, sacred sexuality. And so your feminine feels like 
you have had some of those experiences, but that it can be redeemed, that it is a sacred responsibility, almost like a Christed consciousness, that if you have suffered things that have caused you to be ashamed of your sexual past or your sexual preferences or your kinks or your choices, that this process of loving yourself unconditionally is part of the redemption of humanity. And you're taking one for the team, but it's important that you complete this work and you continue healing. Your feminine doesn't want to stunt that process, but they don't want you to think that they would reject you for whatever this unsavory past is, whether it's truly unsavory or you just feel it is. Your feminine loves you unconditionally. What do you need to know, masculines? Yeah, you're holding yourself back. There does seem to be some guilt and shame still in the energy here about some secrets, some of your sexual past, things you're not proud of, things that you feel imposter syndrome, things that you don't feel worthy of your feminine, that you don't feel lovable, that you don't feel like you've fully let go of yet, secret shame. So yeah, your advice right now, you know, masculines, you could basically do a meditation and write all of that stuff down and then burn it and get it out of you. Like for your eyes only, put it all on paper. Anything that you've ever had done to you, seen done or done to others that feels like guilt and shame, write it all on a paper and burn it and give it to the divine. Free yourself like a confessional, but do it. Don't share it with anyone. Write it all out. Purge it. Purge it. What can we see on the root chakra? Okay, there's the eclipses. So your feminine is thinking that the eclipses will remove a lot of karma from your life. Righteousness coming in, I just heard. This is their intuitive understanding. What do the feminines think that they have directly received from you about your root chakra, that you actually have a great deal of sovereign wholeness, that you really are self-contained, that you are, you have more potential than anyone they've met. And actually they see you holding your own. They see you being somebody who is safe, who is well wise beyond your years in many cases, or extraordinarily um, on it. They see you have a softness to you and that you take care of business, that you have your priority scale, that you have a particular way about you that is self-contained but not dis um, off-putting. It's like you're, you have a disarming quality about you because you have a fairly established safety within you. You have a grounded way about you. Your feminine knows that you would appear skittish to some, but that they see the wisdom in your soft boundaries, the unspoken boundaries. They see you as aware where others might think that you don't make sense. Your feminine gets it. This is root chakra. So they see you as um, actually more grounded than most people even though most people don't understand you, that would stand to reason because most people aren't as steadfast in certain truths as you are masculines. Your feminine sees these things. They see your character. They see you in a way that others maybe misunderstand you because others don't quite understand this soft boundary that you have because they don't have the energetic sensitivity, the awareness to understand where a soft boundary of honor and dignity lay they might other people may get fed up and sort of and piff and walk away whereas your feminine gets it so they stick around what can we see for what the divine has shown your feminine harmonic oscillator timing rhythm synchronization and frequency so basically your feminine sees how you move they see the correlation between what the divine shows them for their life, for your life, for the third energy that you are navigating together, which is your median energy as you maneuver through life together or connected with each other. They see the wisdom in it. They see the ebb and flow. They see the, they feel the dynamic 
What is the advice for the masculines? More than meets the eye. So something is deepening and laying a foundation here, masculines, on the root chakra that is far more substantial than just the material. You're grounding into the energetic, and it's not so much about what meets the eye or the image you're creating for others. There's something much more profound going on here. Because you've established your root chakra, you're being entrusted with more. Okay, one message for the masculines here. Shadow work and transformation. Clear stagnant energy. Change destructive patterns. Claim your personal power. Resist victim mentality. Embrace the mystery. Yeah, so the feminines saw you embracing the mystery. So I would say, feminines, your hunch is dead on that your masculine is going in to do the shadow work and they cannot rely on you to tell them who they are or what they are. They need to go in there and find what their truth is versus the destructive patterns so they can claim their personal power and come out of any kind of victim mode and be the man, the masculine, the embodied divine version of self that they are being called forward as. What can we see here? Transformation, let go, accept the impermanence, recognize the light in all things, seek blessings amidst challenges, release the past, be present, make peace with death. So masculines, yeah, you are dying to self. This is an ego death. This is you, you know, letting go of purging all the things that is not who you are at your core and being born again. This is resurrection energy. This is you dying to self and being transformed. Let's get one card for the feminines. Kindness. Live with integrity. Be fiercely tender. Listen to your inner child. Protect what you cherish. It's okay to care deeply. So don't reject your masculine when they go into this inner holy of holies to really get in touch with themselves. Maybe for the first real time in their adult life. This is your masculine going in to come out renewed. Okay, many blessings. Bye for now.